Hey, hun. Are you ready for my parents to pick us up? They'll be there with the van at 10. Yes, honey. I'm all packed. What's with the sigh? Aren't you excited to come and meet my whole family finally? And spend all of Christmas with them out of state? <sighs> well, when you put it that way, it doesn't seem as bad. I know it's difficult for you, but you can get through it. I know you can. You're a strong guy. I don't know if I'm strong enough for the next few days, though. When are we coming back again? The day after Christmas, so just take it easy, okay? Yeah, yeah, take it easy. I know my family isn't the most, uh, pleasant people in the world, but... Ha, pleasant. But if you want to marry me, this is something that you're going to have to do. You have to meet your fiancé's family, Ethan. It's all part of the fiancé deal. I have to meet the extended family, too? Can't I just meet them at the wedding? I know you're kidding. Don't forget who's paying for that wedding. Yeah, well, if it was up to me, it would be 20 bucks a person. And me too. But you know how my mom is. Yeah, yeah. She wants a fairy tale wedding for her little girl. So ridiculous. Why can't you just have what you want? Because it's the path of least resistance. And I'd rather have a big wedding that she pays for than fight about it for a year. I still don't think it's right. It's our wedding. Speaking of which, have you given any more thought about the church? Oh, um... I know you have issues getting married in the Catholic Church and all, but it would really make my family happy. And besides, what's the big deal? It's not like you're a practicing Jew. Yeah, I know, but still, I was raised in it, and it just feels kind of, I don't know, weird to be surrounded by crucifixes, you know? Not to mention what my mother thinks. Oh, she'll get over it. Yeah, well, that's what you think. It'll be okay, I promise. So how far is this compound of your family's anyway? It's in Michigan, about mid-center of the glove. Mid-center of the glove? Yeah, I'll show you on my hand when I get home. Uh, whatever. How long of a drive is it? I don't know, I'm thinking five or six hours. And with meals and shopping, ten? What? Ten hours? Why is it going to take ten hours? Well, I just said driving, eating, shopping. Why do we have to stop and eat for so long? And why do we have to go shopping at all? Because there are a lot of malls on the way, Ethan. And really nice restaurants. We always take our time going up there. But why do we have to eat at nice restaurants? And how does your little brother deal with it? Bobby just puts up with everything. He's a big pushover, just like you. Ha ha, so funny. And I can't exactly afford that right now. You know, part-time at the college bookstore isn't going to buy me a filet. Oh, would you calm down? I'm sure Mom and Dad will pay. No, no. Out of the question. Oh, come on. Why? I don't want to owe them anything, okay? Fine, whatever. So, wait. If they're picking us up at 10, and it's going to take us 10 hours, you're saying that we'll get there at, like, 8 p.m.? Um, yeah, I guess so. And then we have to go to midnight mass with everyone four hours later? Well, yeah, after we eat again and open presents. You guys open presents on Christmas Eve? Well, yeah. Okay, fine. Look, I'm honestly a little bit tired of your attitude, Ethan. If I'm going to have to drag you kicking and screaming, you might as well just stay home. Uh, okay. Fine. You're right. I am being a jerk. Look, I love you, Vivian. I just... I have a hard time with your family. Especially your mom. I know she can be very... Judgmental. Vindictive. Rude. Cruel. I was going to say obtuse, but I suppose some of those apply. Well, for you, I know I can do it. 48 hours, babe. That's all it is. Good morning, Ethan. Happy Christmas Eve. Oh, hey, Nora. Um, what's up? Is everything okay? You're still picking us up in an hour, right? Or, um, has something come up? Are you sick or something? Are we not going? No, of course. We're going, Ethan. I just wanted to clear up a few things with you first before we get to Vivian's grandparents. Um, okay. What is it? Nothing I did, I hope. 
Oh, no, 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 no. I just hope that she told you how uh, Catholic our family is. Oh, yeah, I know. It's okay. I'm prepared. I've been to church with you guys, remember? We're getting married there. Yes, well, this is different. My family's ultra-Catholic. There are crucifixes all over my parents' house, okay? So brace yourself. All right. I'm, uh, braced. You know, I never thought that Vivian would be marrying a Jew. A Jew? I mean, someone who's Jewish. Well, I guess I am ethnically, but I don't go to synagogue or anything like that, if that's what you were wondering. Well, yes, of course. And now you'll be going to church with us. I will? What do you mean? Oh, yeah, Mass tonight, right? Yes, Midnight Mass tonight. But not only that, you'll be going to church with us from now on. I will? Well, of course. Every Sunday we all go as a family. We always have. Now that you're part of the family, you'll be expected to as well. But Vivian doesn't go every week. And when she's married, she will be. Um... Anyway, Ethan, I hope you're ready for a fun trip. You know we stop to shop and eat, right? Um, yeah, right. There's some great outlet malls on the way, so I'm sure you'll be able to pick up something nice for Mass. Oh, um, I actually brought something nice. Let me guess, that blue sweater and khakis that you wore to Thanksgiving? Um, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. That will not do for Christmas Eve Mass. You'll need to get something else. Something else? Like what? You know, something nice. And also, I hope you like sushi because we have an early dinner reservation at Shen's Sushi. Sushi? Oh, I don't know about that, Nora. You mean you don't like sushi? Well, maybe not the raw stuff, but I guess I like, uh, what do you call it? Please don't tell me you're gonna say a California roll. Um, yeah, I think I do mean a California roll. Sorry, we didn't really eat it growing up. Well, why not? Vivian was practically raised on sushi. It's, um, well, mostly not kosher. Not kosher? Yeah, you know, kosher. You mean that's a real thing? Uh, yeah, it's a real thing. But I thought you weren't religious, though. I mean, that's what you said. Well, I'm not now. But you were then? My parents were. And they kept kosher till I was about 14. But after that, we just really never tried sushi. Well, you certainly will be today, and a lot of other things. I don't know, Nora. I'm a little nervous. Nonsense, you'll be fine. Everything will go great. I don't want you to be nervous at all, okay? Um, okay. See you soon, Ethan. Okay, Nora. Bye. Oh, one more thing. Yeah? My parents wouldn't approve of you and Vivian sharing a room, so you'll be bunking with Bobby. With Bobby? Yes, is that a problem? Oh, um, no. Not at all. Well now, Bobby knows what lights out means, but that doesn't mean he'll ever follow it. You think you can handle that for me? Um, sure. He does tend to sleepwalk and climb into bed with people, FYI. Uh, how old is Bobby again? He's 15. Oh, right. And can you do me a favor and keep him away from the dirty movies? If he's not careful, he'll be up all night with that stuff. Ugh. Come on, Ethan. Will you just come out of the dressing room, please? You've been in there for 20 minutes. No. No? What do you mean, no? I mean, no, I'm not coming out. I'm not trying on any more clothes. I'm not twirling. I'm not modeling anything else for you or your mom. But that last suit was so close. Seriously, you just have to get the right fit, okay? Well, why don't we just hire a tailor while we're at it then, huh? Oh, come on, Ethan. We don't have time for a tailor. Mass is tonight and church in the morning. Wait, we have to go back to church in the morning? When did that happen? Um, forever ago? Always? What is with all this church? And I still don't understand why I have to even wear a suit. I'm pretty sure I've seen plenty of people at churches in sweaters and khakis. I know, I know. It's all about appearances. The people up here only see my family once a year. She wants to make a good impression. So what does that have to do with me? It has everything to do with you, Ethan. If you marry me, 
your family a reflection on me on them. So she wants you in a suit for Christmas. Come on, is it the end of the world or something? No, it's just that I don't want to. You don't want to? Nothing. Great, so how about you just come out of the dressing room and buy a suit so we can leave? Wait, so now I have to buy a suit? The cheapest one I tried on was $700. I'll pay you back, okay? No, it's not the money, Vivian. It's the principle of the thing. It's not right. I'm sorry, honey, but this is the way it is in my family. <sighs> uh, okay, then. So would you please just come out here and do a twirl for us? Please, just a little twirl. Ugh. Uh, hey, Ethan, are you okay? You've been in the bathroom for like 20 minutes. You have to get back on the road. We're due at grandma's in like three hours. I'm not exactly feeling so well, Vivian. Your stomach? I'm a little bit, um, gassy, but nothing is, um, happening. Well, what do you think it was? What do you think it was? It was that stupid tuna sushi roll sashimi thing that your mom forced me to eat. Oh, come on. You just had one piece. It wouldn't have made you sick. She's fine. I'm sensitive to the stuff. I don't know, and it's not like I've ever had it before. Ugh. Come on, we'll stop and get you some Tums before we get on the highway. But what if I have to, you know... Then we'll stop for you. It's okay, Ethan. Really. I don't know, Vivian. I don't really like how all this is going. The suits, the sushi, the Jesus. What's wrong with Jesus? Nothing's wrong with Jesus. But your mom is like warning me about your grandma's house and their church. And now I have to sleep. So what are you saying? You want to take a bus back home or something? Is that it? No, no, no. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that I feel kind of, I don't know, alone is all. What do you mean, alone? Lonely, you know? Like you aren't even on this trip. That doesn't even make sense, Ethan. I just wish you hadn't told me to try on all those suits. I wish you hadn't joined it. All right, geez, I'm sorry, all right? Is that what you want to hear? Fine, I'm sorry. Now can you please get off the toilet and come out so we can leave? All right, fine, I'm coming. But can you just talk to your mom for me at least and tell her to, I don't know, be nicer to me? How old are you again? Ugh, fine, I'll talk to her. Don't you see why I'd maybe have a problem with this? What do you mean? I mean, you just seem to not be listening to me. I'm listening, I'm listening, oh my god. All right, fine. All right, fine, what? Are you staying there now or something? I thought only girls hid in the bathroom. Wow, I didn't realize I was dating such a misogynist, Vivian. You mean engaged to a misogynist, Ethan. Well, this is really great, isn't it? This has already turned out to be one hell of a Christmas Eve. First, your mom harasses me for being Jewish. Then she dresses me up like a little monkey boy. And now she's trying to poison me with fish. Oh, please, would you get a hold of yourself? You were like a lunatic. Could you please go get me some Tums, all right? And then we can just forget this and get this stupid holiday over with. Stupid holiday? Excuse me, Ethan, but Christmas is not stupid. It happens to be the most important holiday there is. I thought that was Easter. Oh yeah, that too. Hey Ethan, what's up dude? Oh, hey Bobby, how are you? Eh, I'm whatever. Um, yeah. So where are you anyway? I'm just in the room, hanging out alone. You mean in our room? Yeah, in our room. So, are you having a good time? Um, oh yeah, your family is really nice. Oh yeah? Is that why you're hiding in the bedroom? I'm not hiding. I'm just taking it easy after that second meal. Yeah, that's pretty stupid, huh? Eating frigging roast beef right after Japanese. Yeah, I'm just going to lie here on my back for a while and try to keep breathing. Well man, I have to hand it to you. 
You're hanging in there pretty damn good. Oh, yeah. Am I? Oh, yeah. A hell of a lot better than the last guy. What? What do you mean? I just mean you're doing okay, relatively speaking. No, you said the last guy. You mean Vivian's brought a guy up here before? Uh, yeah. She hasn't told you about Roger? Roger? No. Roger who? Well, uh, I can't remember his last name. It was like a year ago. Wait a minute, Bobby. You're telling me that a year ago, last Christmas, Vivian brought some guy she was dating named Roger up here? Not dating. Engaged. Engaged? Yeah. And you're doing a lot better than him. So, she never really said anything about him, huh? No, Bobby. No, she didn't. Well, I can see why. Dude was a dork. So how long were they together? Roger and Vivian. Oh, not that long. They were engaged even less. Yeah, by New Year's, it was all over, actually. New Year's, huh? So what happened to him on this trip? Uh, have you met my mom? She's like a drill sergeant. She just beats you down. Except she doesn't even try to build you back up. It's all just beating. But why didn't Vivian tell me about him? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know, bro. That's between y'all. Ugh, I cannot believe this. Yeah, this family is, like, pretty messed up. All our games and tests and crap. I'm not like that. Games and tests? Well, yeah. That's what this is, dude. They're just testing you to see if you can handle them. They? What do you mean? Uh, my mom and sister. They do this to all her boyfriends, fiancé, whatever. There's been more than two now. Oh yeah, dude. You have no idea. So what is this test? Just being awful to them on Christmas? Well, it's not specific to Christmas. It's just sooner or later, something happens. It's weird that Christina's taking mom's side openly, though. That's not supposed to be part of the ruse. Well, maybe she just legitimately hates me then. Hey man, don't sweat it. If she does, you dodge the bullet. I mean, she's showing you who she really is on this trip, you know? Yeah, just when I physically can't get away. So you're gonna break up with her then? Of course I am. Who would do that to their fiancé? Test them or whatever. And with their mother, no less. It's kind of like separating the wheat from the bread sort of thing. It's the wheat from the chaff. It's what? It's separating the wheat from the chaff, Bobby, not the wheat from the bread. Oh, well, whatever. Chaff is bread. Um, no it isn't. Oh, really? I'm quite sure. Well, anyway, people are asking about you out here, dude. They are? Who? What are they saying? Is it Nora? Who the hell is Nora? Your mother, Bobby. Oh, no, it's Grandpa. He says he wants to show you some Civil War book or something. Something about states' rights? Oh, God. Do I have to? Tell him I'm not feeling well, okay? I wouldn't recommend getting caught saying that around my Grandpa, and especially my Grandma. Get caught saying what? You know, blasphemy. A what? Taking the Lord's name in vain. Oh. Okay, sorry. Well, can you tell them I'm sick? Dude, just because we're bunkies doesn't mean I'm doing your dirty work for you, okay? Okay, fine. What time is it anyway? 9.30. You better just get that dumb-looking suit on and come out. We'll be leaving for mass soon anyway. Dumb-looking suit? Come on, dude! How could you let my mom pick that out for you? For real, dog? Alright, enough. And why do we have to leave so early anyway? It doesn't start for an hour and a half. Hey man, it's Christmas Eve. That's the way it goes up here. Plus, it gives me time to get a little lifted beforehand, if you know what I mean. What are you talking about, Bobby? Oh, come on. You know what I'm talking about. My friend makes them. Sour apple or cherry? Which one do you want? I'm thinking of taking both. Dude. You're going to eat that before midnight mass? With your whole family and grandparents there? I don't think that's such a good idea. 
Oh, come on. It'll be fun. The crucifix will come to life. Bobby, as your elder, whatever that means, I'm advising you not to do this. Not do what? Not to take your sour cherry apple things. Trust me, it's a very bad idea. Too late. I just did. Oh my god, Bobby! Blasphemy! Ugh, gosh. Bobby, what are you thinking? I'm not thinking. I'm 15. Well, you need to go throw them up right now. Oh, I bet you'd like that, wouldn't you? Huh? What is that supposed to mean? It means if I throw up, it looks like I'm sick too. So you're off the hook for faking it. I am not faking it. My stomach feels like an overripe watermelon right now. It pains me just to roll over, much less get in a suit. How could I have known the tuna would mess me up? She pushed it on me. I didn't even want to try it. That's true. Okay, fine, whatever. Guess I'll see you later then. Wait, Bobby. Ugh, what? Could you sit with me tonight at church? I'm kind of lonely. But you'll have my sister. Come on, really? Okay, fine. Point taken. Plus, you'll need a babysitter, it sounds like. <sighs> I can't. I'm expected to sit with my parents and grandparents. Oh, okay, well, good luck with that. Eh, I got a couple of hours. Yeah, a couple hours, huh? I better see if I can, um, unclog myself before church. Well, we're in an old person's house. There's bound to be some prune somewhere. Dude! Bobby, you shouldn't be texting me right now. The choir is singing or something. Dude! What? I am bugging out here, man. Well, gee, big surprise. You took all of those candy things. The choir is so loud. Uh, yeah, it is. You don't have to be on anything to notice that. And all these crucifixes, I swear they're like popping out at me. Just take a deep breath, Bobby. You'll get through this. The service is only like half an hour, right? An hour at least. At least? Yeah. Oh, man. These Christmas lights look like interplanetary dimensions or something. I'm having my own problems, Bobby. What? What's wrong? Well, it's my stomach. I'm feeling a little, um, gassy. You mean you still haven't gone? No. And now it seems to be coming out in increments. Increments of fish and beef farts? Cool. Do you, um, smell anything? Nah. I just smell that innocent stuff and some, I don't know, Christmassy cinnamon apple thing. Okay, good. I don't know if I can hold these in much longer. Yeah, and you just can't get up and leave. What? What do you mean? Grandma will be pissed if you leave before the Christmas sermon. Oh, God. Do you see him? Huh? Wait, do you see the priest walking down the aisle towards me right now? No, Bobby. Oh, okay. Must be a penguin. Oh, no. Bobby, I just let one. What? I didn't hear anything. Well, not that you could over the music, but it was silent but deadly. <laughs> Everybody up there is turning their heads. Oh, no. Did you deny it to Vivian? Yeah, so what? Maybe I did. Hey, whoever denied it supplied it. Oh, Oh, dude! You can smell it. Oh my god, bro! What the hell? I told you! Oh man! Grandma's got the dry heaves! Oh dear god! And Grandpa's got the wet heaves! Well, happy Christmas! Ethan! What the hell was that all about? Uh, yeah. Sorry about that, Nora. Sorry? Sorry? You're sorry for stinging up the entire church during midnight mass? You're sorry for making my parents sick? Making me sick? Making half the people in the place sick? I said I was sorry, Nora. Honestly, I don't know what it is with you. Every time I turn around, there's some problem. 
Complaining about clothes, complaining about the food. The food that made me sick, you mean? The food that I told you would make me sick, and you insisted that I eat? Oh, nonsense. It wasn't the sushi, it was your nerves. You're just too anxious. Just too neurotic of a person. Too neurotic of a person for what? For your daughter? Just like Roger? Is that what this is about? Well, I don't know what you mean. I know all about it. I know all about Roger and Vivian and your little test. Test? What are you talking about? There's no test. Well, guess what? I'm turning mine in early and taking the incomplete. But, you know, an incomplete is a fail, right? Whatever. Hello? Ethan? Hello? Hey, Ethan. How are you feeling? I'm feeling better now that it's out of me. Thanks, Vivian. Oh, um, well that's good, I guess. Yeah, it really is. I was concerned about you at church there for a while. Well, I'm fine now. You don't have to worry about me. Um, is Bobby okay? He was looking a little strange after church. I think he'll be fine. He's in the corner right now, passed out with his suit on backwards. Uh, okay. So listen, Ethan, I talked to my mom. Yes? And she told me what you said, and I just want you to know you passed the test. Uh, what? Yeah, you stood up for yourself. You stood up to my mom and made real decisions. So now I know that you do the same for me. What are you talking about? Are you insane? What do you mean? I've already packed, Vivian. I'm taking an Uber to the Greyhound station in the morning and getting on the first bus home. What? You're leaving? But we're going home the day after tomorrow anyway. And that would be one more day of my life wasted with you and your family. What do you mean? Are you saying that you're breaking up with me? Consider the engagement kaput, Vivian. But what about the ring? Keep it. You can't do this to me, Ethan. You can't. Sorry, Vivian, but I'm not going to end up like Roger. I'm just not that kind of a guy. I hate you, Ethan. You better sleep with one eye open in there tonight. What? Yeah, that's right. You better watch out. Huh? Ethan slept on the bus the entire seven hours home. It was a deep and dreamless sleep. When he got home, he ordered Chinese takeout and watched The Grinch Who Stole Christmas while ignoring Vivian's calls. When she got back in town, she came over and got some stuff she'd left there and didn't say a word to him the entire time. Ethan and Bobby still keep in touch, playing Xbox Live and seeing the occasional movie together. It drives Vivian and Nora crazy, but neither of them care.